Hi guys, welcome to my channel and Happy New Year's to all of you. Um, I'll just jump right into it. As the title says, inches versus um, pounds. So um, for those of you who are new, if you've not checked out my first couple of videos, check those out so you can kind of get a history on what's going on with this channel. So I did start with Govi um, November the 19th. It is now January the 2nd. So what is that? Six I believe six weeks, so I started on the 0.25. Um, I just took my third shot of the um, 0.5. So let's discuss if there's been any new symptoms with the 0.5. I have not noticed any new symptoms, and the symptoms that I had noticed prior, um, fatigue, slight headache, feeling nauseous. I came to find out that, and this is just through me researching and doing what you're doing, looking at videos, that uh, well, Govi was is kind of like a spinoff from the Ozempic, which is a diabetic drug, and the whole purpose of it, well, the Ozempic is to um, obviously help you lose weight, but then it also lowers your blood sugar to a safe amount. But if you're not diabetic, and you're, or even if you are diabetic, if your blood sugars go too low, excuse me, if your blood sugars go too low, then you can have those side side effects. So that was one of the things I did was I googled, you know, low blood sugar symptoms and. <laughs> Um, the nausea, um, the fatigue, uh, the irritability. Um, so some of the things that I mentioned prior, I realized that I was just going too long with, I'm looking to make sure, because I recorded this yesterday, but my camera was off, but that, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> uh, so what I realized was that I was going way too long between eating five, six, seven hours. I was going way too long and my blood sugars was dropping to an, um, a level that was just making me have all those symptoms. So what I started doing was keeping a piece of fruit with me or like one of those 90 calorie peanut butter bars or or something. And I noticed that when I was doing that, like every couple of hours, it regulated it. So those symptoms practically disappear. So that was one thing. Like if you're having those, try to eat a little more frequently, even if it's something small, but just something to kind of get your sugars up. So preferably something healthier. Like I said, I do apples because I do like that, but I was also doing a, like, a little chocolate peanut butter snack and that helped too. So we're, I, I'm getting there. We're going to be making healthier choices. Um, so inches versus pounds. So I was wondering, why is the scale not moving? Well, it's moving. I, I want to say I'm at a total of about 10 pounds down and it's just kind of been fluctuating but then after doing my research and looking at different articles not all you know from medical journals and um different random articles from like healthline and even the <clears throat> wagobi um site it just talks about this is a tool for the weight loss which we all know that and that's just I may get into that with a, a later video, but I noticed before when I lost weight that um, I started noticing weight loss first in my face, and I started noticing um, the weight loss, where did I notice it? My face and then my legs. I carry weight like in my arms, so usually that comes last, but I immediately noticed that my clothes were um, fitting looser. And because our weight can fluctuate by four pounds, even overnight, that's not a really accurate indicator of true weight loss so you can have a person that's 200 pounds um, and then a person or two people that's 200 pounds and if one has lost fat they're still gonna I mean fat it weighs the same as uh, muscle but if one has lost fat I mean they're still gonna weigh the same but they're gonna look noticeably different because fat takes up takes up less space and I'm not just saying that to make myself feel good like this is scientific fact um, so yeah what I've noticed was that um, my clothes are looser. I've had, you know, a couple people say that they have noticed the weight loss. And I'm usually um, seen here, even if I'm at work, you just don't see my whole body all the time. But then me moving around, it's like, oh, you, have you lost something? Because, you know, you're waiting to hear that. So I'm like, you know, I'm working on it. But uh, yeah, so I read somewhere also that for every eight pounds, that's an inch of, that's an inch off your body, or maybe it's two inches. I don't know. It's it's something in there, but for, so it's like you know how thirty five hundred calories equals one pound. So from my readings, so many pounds equals an inch. But I don't want to get hung up in that because at the beginning I was so tied to 
um, the scale that it was like putting me on an emotional roller coaster because I was checking it every day and it's supposed to be like a gauge but not a true indicator so my clothes were getting looser but sometimes the scale wouldn't move like the scale wouldn't move for like a week or it might even go up a half a pound or a pound and I'm like oh my gosh so the one thing I noticed was that every year probably for the last five or six years between um, Thanksgiving and the New Year's, I was usually up four to six pounds. That did not happen this time, so <sighs> yay us. If that happened to you, then congratulations. If not, that's okay. Just get right back on track. We can do this. Um, so what was the other thing I was going to say? Oh, um, because we're eating less than um, if you are weighing yourself frequently throughout the week, you'll be able to figure out uh, what you ate that's a no-no so for me I noticed that if I eat something that has too much salt in it I'm up almost two pounds which probably that's most people because of sodium and it helps you retain water um, I noticed that I'm up but and because I'm eating less food it's easier for me to figure out what it was that I ate versus me eating on and off all through the day and it's like oh my god I, like I couldn't narrow it down because I was kind of eating some of everything but this really helps you hone in on exactly what is um, causing the change or the fluctuation in your weight. Now, what I've done, and I've done that, I think I showed you guys in a prior video, I downloaded, what was it, Pay, not PayPal, MyFitnessPal. I downloaded that a couple of years ago. And what I've been doing is using that to actually track my weight. And I'm not so good about putting my foods in there every day, but to actually track my weight and just kind of see the graph going, or I should be going this way, <laughs> to see the graph going down. You know, it feels good. Even though it's not dropping as fast as I would like, again, you could be losing inches because that's exactly what is happening to me. So I am doing some weight training, but right now I'm only doing it once a week. But just even that few or just that little is making a difference because, you know, the weight is, you know, I'm definitely looking different and I'm definitely feeling different. Uh, my clothes are feeling, or uh, my clothes are different on my body. So, yeah, I just wanted to encourage you all. If this is your first time to this channel, then welcome. Um, if you're at the 0.25, stay the course because you, like, you're, I got the doctor's appointment. You know, I got, you know, approved for the prescription. I'm about to start. I see all these. Literally take it one, I would say one day at a time. It is one day at a time, but it's a week at a time because you're taking, you know, your body is literally getting accurate. Accu Acclimated? Is it acclimated? I don't know why I do this. Your body is really getting acclimated to um, this medication being put into your system. So the whole goal is to get to 2.4, and I believe that's a maintenance uh, stage. So, you know, the medication is starting slowly in your body, and then it's building up so that you don't have, like, extreme um, digestional symptoms, you know, where you can't hold down food and all these other kind of things. You know, but there are some new subscribers here that said they have not had any um, symptom. So again, it's don't take it literal because it's different for everybody. Um, I'm not, I thought I was going to have like really bad constipation. And I really haven't because that's what I was seeing on a lot of channels. But again, it's different for every person. So just really watch your body and, and watch how, um, it impacts you and just kind of be mindful of it. Um, what else? So yeah, the weight loss isn't coming as fast, but that's okay because this is a journey and at the um, it's probably best it's probably not coming off as fast i know i sound completely crazy but because it's moving at this steady slow pace um you're able to make healthier choices because it's like you know what i didn't do as well last week let me review what did i do different okay maybe i shouldn't eat as much bread um, because maybe the bread is you know causing inflammation in my body and it's causing me to retain water i don't know um, maybe i should just not have you know if i wasn't hungry i just ate a bag of chips maybe i could have just ate something different you know what I mean? So um, it does give you that power because I wish that we could just take this like a secret elixir and then just do whatever. But really, it is a tool to a sensible, um, a sensible diet or not diet, but just eating sensibly and moving your body more. Um, in theory, that's exactly what we should be doing. But, you know, you really want to just say I took the shot and the weight started coming off. Like, I want to be able to say that, but just being realistic and being transparent, that's not how this is this is not a magic uh shot so yeah you have to stick to um just stick to the course stay on your journey you know let's continue to support and encourage each other in the comments and i will see you guys in the next one bye